Hey everyone. Hi there. My name is Ugo. I'm Pedro. And we are the founders of OKDRAW, OK an uh, architectural vis visualization company based in Portugal. So, uh, first of all, thank you very much, you all, for being here today, uh, looking at our ugly faces and, uh, and uh, having the chance to, 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 to see our presentation. But uh, especially uh, we have to uh, to uh, to thank uh, Chaos Group team uh, yeah. for this opportunity and also Pedro Moreira uh, for being here today uh, and helping us uh, presenting this this um, our work. So um, starting our presentation, our the, the name of our presentation is Big Stories, Little Moments. Uh, it kind of explains itself. I mean, uh, it's kind of our obsession in the moment uh, uh, our uh, obsession telling stories inside of images and image inside of images and compositions inside of compositions we will talk about a special project project that we had a chance to work recently and um, instead of talking about technical stuff or uh, other softwares uh, uh, updates we, we we feel that Probably this could be more interesting to talk uh, about ourselves, of course. Uh, to start about uh, our studio, uh, this is the place where we work. Uh, me and Pedro started to work, uh, started OKDRAW in 2013. Uh, me as an architect and Pedro as a product designer. Um, fortunately, today we are a team of four. Uh, we are uh, two architects and two product designers. Uh, we are fortunate to work with uh, uh, Gonzalo and Catarina, uh, two amazing artists and, and, and really nice nice people. Uh, we still uh, work at night sometimes, as you as you see here. Uh, but I I think everyone in this area uh, do it. So yeah, especially yeah. if you love what you do, it's normal that you put a few extra hours in yeah. it. Yeah. So this is a small video of our office that you were about to see we have a nice garden outside yeah it's it's it's, it's very good spacious to, to stretch our back when we need some it's mostly all the time <laughs> and yeah let's keep ourselves pretending to work while, while we are friends of ours are So this is our space, this is us. Uh, we work for uh, architects and for real estate developers. Uh, so we work for uh, uh, with uh, um, commercial work and also on architecture competitions. Um, today uh, we will talk about the commercial work uh, that we give the name All in All. Yeah, and uh, this project was uh, in Amsterdam, in the Netherlands. Uh, it was made, uh, the design of the architecture was by Koshesh. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it right, but you can read it on the bottom, bottom right. Uh, and we were fortunate to be able to collaborate in the creative direction alongside with uh, STAT, which is a creative agency from uh, the Netherlands. Um, and it was a very interesting project mm -hmm. uh, in the sense that uh, they wanted a, a different kind of communication of a real estate company. Uh, they wanted to explore a little bit more of an uh, artistic approach uh, of a commercial project. And it was a very challenging and interesting um, project for us uh, because it's not something that you usually see in a commercial project uh, on the real estate uh, kind of area. Uh, and it also gave us the opportunity to work on several different scales of images. Uh, we went from aerial views, uh, which you can see the, the whole images on the top row. And uh, we went from, you know, working on the aerial views, exterior views, uh, some uh, small close ups of the of the building, um, some interiors and also some close up uh, of the interior. So it was very rich in that sense. Uh, the the project itself was based on sustainability and it was uh, very concentrated on the brick because brick it's uh, kind of uh, 
uh, as they said, was uh, a very costly uh, material nowadays. Um, and so they wanted to communicate all of this in the images. And, and on the aerial view, uh, one thing that it's important to say is that it's pr prohibited to uh, fly a drone on this part uh, of the city. Uh, so the only uh, the only option we had was to do everything in 3D, which uh, uh, it, it usually kind of a problem because you have more work to do and you have to do all the surroundings in 3D. Uh, but at the same time, we looked at it as a, an opportunity to be able to craft and control the environment around it and kind of creating stories and compositions um, as we s would see fit instead of having to regard on the on the photographs and what happened on that specific day. Uh, so w when you're working on the uh, aerial views, you're mostly concerned about the composition of the, pr the, the project and the building itself and the surroundings. So you want to communicate how the, the project integrates itself on the surroundings. Uh, that's your main concern, that's your main composition. Uh, but besides that, we were also um, concerned about narratives and little stories and little moments, as uh, the, the name of our presentation says, uh, surrounding the, the environment. So you have you know, the messengers uh, on the bike, uh, which is very usual on the Netherlands. Um, and you know they are passing through, you have the guy that is going to park over there, these two dudes uh, just uh, talking around, and um, also be able to work you know, uh, kind of two different areas, like the, the two teenagers on the skates and also the the, the people on suits on the entrance of the of the the building and also working with colors as you have you know the blue suit guy with the the blue car so you have compositions inside of compositions and also creating little small moments uh, and stories about the two guys that seem that are lost uh, strolling around the neighborhood just looking around um, so this uh, ARL view in this project was very dense uh, in terms of vegetation and uh, because it was a sustainable uh, building and project. And uh, we wanted to create uh, you know, lots of details that you could close up and see all the fine details and all the, the working hours uh, of 3D put it uh, into it and all the small moments happening over there and some of these moments that you are not able to create with a drone uh, if you are regarding, uh, not regarding, but um, having to rely on, on photographs. Same thing for the entrance and for the exterior views, which we are a little bit more used to work uh, on fully on 3D. Um, and uh, the idea here was to communicate the entrance of the of the the building, how nice it was with a, a little warm to tone, uh, all the wood and all the, the this welcome feeling that you have when you enter to the main entrance of the building. And so the main idea is to do the composition around the the entrance, um, having a um, to be careful about the brick and be careful about the vegetation, having those in, in your composition, but you can also create some stories and some narratives. <coughs> Sorry, uh, for the guys that are on the on the entrance, and once again the bikes that are really important um, on this side of town, uh, on this town in, in particular, and the guy that is taking the the bike for a stroll uh, right in front of the entrance. Also, the couple on the interior. So you're kind of always thinking about your main composition while you're thinking about your small compositions. For example, in this exterior one, you have you know, two people on the balcony and you can have this composition where you have you know, like a building on a one third, two thirds of, of sky. And this guy over here, this could be an image on its own. Uh, you know, it, it could work very well, just a portrait of a guy with a bike, and it's actually a small close-up of this part of the image over here. So this type of concerns of creating stories, uh, making them, you know, work on the big composition in, and on the big story, and also making sense on the image without distracting from the main subject, which is communicating the project. Um, it's kind of hard and it's difficult to balance, but it's also very fun because you put a lot of, a lot of your personal stories and your personal feelings into it, into the work. You know, for example, you have a close-up of the, the corner of the building where you are seeing most of the materials, some nice touch of design, um, some nice composition, but you also have 
you know, small details, small stories that we created that probably most people won't notice, you know, the small birds over here and the small birds over here ne near the couple. And the little girl with the teddy bear uh, on the on the bedroom, which we created the story for it in our heads, and then we put it into the image. On the interior ones, as you don't have, you know, much people or any people at all, um, it's not so much about compos the composition of people, but more so about the kind of public which the, the project is for. And you have a guideline, and you create a person or people, and you know their age, you know their interests, and you create a story behind it. So every decoration and every object on the interior has to make sense with that persona that you created and that you have the briefing for, so that when the image goes for the selling department, all the people that are buying it or that they want want them to buy they kind of feel interconnected with the, the interior that you did. It makes sense for them. And besides this, you also make can make compositions on the interiors without people. You can just make, you know, uh, interactions between objects like they were a uh, person. Like, for example, this table and this sofa over here and the type of materials and colors that you have. And these two on the opposite side with the, the wood over here and the wood over there. And there are two different types of designs, two different types of materials and colors, but they are the same interior and they work on the on the final image. There was also a challenge on the interior, which was to place some Dutch projects and uh, represent some of Dutch uh, artists. And this was a, a suggestion from Stat uh, on the collaboration we did. And they also give us some insight, gave us some insight of some artists that we could use so that the project could be a little bit more representative representative of the Dutch people, for the Dutch people. Um, so once again, one interior where you can see the balance between decoration and the, the type of decoration has to make sense for the person that, you know, you are the clients for this project. Even even here, the the objects the objects uh, almost work as a as a as a characters inside of the inside of architecture. Uh, what 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 we feel that that this project uh, was very interesting for us that was that we have the chance and the time to work uh, every frame and uh, to work every shot uh, and with a, with a, with a lot of details. Uh, uh, just not just for the the, the material the, the materials, but even for for details as Pedro is showing. Uh, so the the communication between the materials and the communication between the elements inside of the image, and this was very, very, this was very nice because usually we we have to 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 work very quickly. This project was was done uh, not so fast, but uh, but. But with a with a, a cool uh, collaboration between us and 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 start the the um, the direction of the art direction of of this work because they have they have they they, they pushed us to um to to uh, to improve uh, to improve uh, uh, our work but also they were very open to our to our suggestions to our compositions and and and. To uh, to decoration elements, to uh, composition elements that that could improve the the communication for them and also for the architecture. This is a project that, as Pedro mentioned, we we you can see we we have the the aerial and we have the crop. So so architecture is fully represented on 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 different scales, and we 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 think that really it's it's a, a different commercial project for us because. Even a having this, uh, this, uh, these different shots, we had the, the opportunity to work every shot and and other shots inside of them uh, uh, to work uh, to really have the, the care of uh, of composition, of color, of light, the the, the, the three bases that 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 we, we we believe are the main focus uh, of a of, uh, of, uh, of, a, of a good picture. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and uh, also made the images more richer you know because it's not just about the building it's about uh, all of the things that you can directly or indirectly see or consciously or unconsciously see and they they 
all of them add up to the to the final image and they they made it a little bit better than if it was just a building without any any of the the rest of the things that we just mentioned in it yeah. um, exactly. so this talk was not so much about software or techniques uh, it was something a little bit more out of a, maybe a photography or a painting uh, presentation but we feel it's very necessary to keep this in mind when doing images it's not just about technical sites or just pro or programs or softwares it, it's also about you know the main basics of art you know uh, lightning color composition and uh, story narrative um, so we hope you liked the the presentation and we would like to thank you once again for your time and hope to see you someday yeah. thank you very much for your time see bye you bye